Hello Creeksiders. This is your speedy reminder of how to use a liquid tempera paint. When you set up, make sure that you have level two paper with your name and class code on it, a bowl of water, paint brushes, a paint palette, and the paint. Um, all of these items can be found here on the top shelf of the paint cart, as well as on this side. Use the red and green brushes for liquid tempera, remembering that the brushes come in different sizes, so choose the right one for the job. The biggest thing in the liquid tempera center is that you need to make sure you are squeezing out only a dime size amount of paint. You can always come back to get more. I like to pour out the primaries because I can make all of the other colors with the primaries. However, you may have a different color scheme in mind for your artwork and that's fine. Please just choose paint colors that you think you're going to use today during class. You can always add more, um, but we wanna try to minimize throwing away paint at the end of class. When you are mixing colors, remember that you need to dip your brush and scoop some paint into an empty well, um, and then stir together your new color in the empty paint well so that your two original colors are still on your tray. That way, if you need to change up the color you made, like make it darker or lighter, or in this case, maybe I want it more yellowish green or more blue green, I can control that because I still have the primaries on my um, paint tray in order to uh, mix and adjust my color. On my paper, I want to remember to pull my paintbrush. Um, I can pull it sideways, I can pull it down when I'm filling. If I'm more comfortable even pulling up, that will work. What I'm trying to avoid doing is pushing my paintbrush like this. Eventually that creates what we call a bad hair day for your paintbrush and it becomes harder to paint clean edges. Wash your brush in the water by stirring it, rubbing it on the bottom of the container. Tap onto the sponge here to soak up extra water before you dip back into your palette to do any other color mixing. Cleanup is a breeze. You're going to put your paint tray in the bucket on the right by the sink. Dirty brushes go on the left. Come back for your bowl of water. Empty that out, rinse it, and then put it in the basket. Uh, your final step will be to clean up with a chamois cloth to get your table tidied. Enjoy the center today.